Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Mike from Goldfield Design Co. Coming to you guys with a logo design tutorial for the letter C. Uh, this is part of my A through Z logo series that I'm doing. Uh, pretty much the basics of these are to show you that anyone can make a logo design. You just need, you know, a basic application like Adobe Illustrator here. And, you know, tutorials like this just to show you, you know, the steps by steps on how to do it. And anyone can pretty much do it. Um, that being said, um, I'm going to make a C logo today. Uh, it's going to be very simple. You can adjust this, you can change the spacing, you can do whatever you want to it to make it your personal logo. And obviously, you know, you have full creative freedom. I'm not, you know, making this for to sell or anything like that. So you can take this logo, you can use it for, for whatever. Um, and yeah, let's get just hop right into it. So what I want to start with here is a blank canvas. And I like to do 1920 by 1080. And if you don't know how to do that already, file, new. And then you can go ahead and make your own, or uh, so I have this pre preset one here, 1920 by 1080 points, and create. So now that I have that new window open here, we can go ahead and start with the basics. So C logo, circle. On the left side here, you're gonna see the ellipse tool. Click that. If you don't see that, hold down, and you'll get these options, and you should see that. What you want to do? is hold shift go ahead and drag your mouse and you have a big old circle right there but as you can tell on the left side that circle is filled in with white and then it has a black stroke on the outside so you kind of want to get it rid of that white interior there and just make it have that black outline so let's do that by clicking this little guy right here as long as this uh, fill is selected hit none so now that is completely empty so if I move it around I have to hit the sides because if I look in the middle nothing will happen so I kind of have to touch the sides and move that little guy around okay I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller I can do that by hitting shift alt and dragging the sides so now it's a little bit smaller there for us to work with so now that I have my circle here I want to go ahead and turn up the stroke and make these lines on the outside a little bit thicker. To do that, you go to Window, Stroke, click that. But if you already have it on your tab here, I can go ahead and pull that up. And if you have this selected, you should see the weight on the top right here. Go ahead and bump that up. And I would say make it decently thick, not, not, not too thick, because we are going to be spacing this out a little bit. But I'm going to go with, let's do 25, uh, let's, do, let's do 26. We'll keep it at 26 here. Um, okay, now that we have that stroke, um, kind of a thick shape here, that's kind of the basis for what we're going to be doing. Um, if you've seen the thumbnail of this video already, you pretty much know what this is going to kind of look like and how we're going to get from this to those three um, line gaps between one another. And... You know, it's super easy. I'll show you how to do that. You're going to go to uh, Object. As long as you have this selected, that, that's very, very important that you have this selected. Object, Path, Offset Path. Okay. Okay. So you're going to have to offset at 26. Meter limit 4, joints, meter and the reason why it's at 26 is because that's the same width as what we had on the stroke. So you're gonna hit okay, and you're not gonna touch anything else. You're gonna go right back to what we did. Object, path, outline, stroke. Sorry, object, path, offset path. Keep it 26. Okay, still gonna do the same thing. Object, path, offset path, 26. And now we should have multiple different circles within that same circle. So as you can tell from my screen here, um, we have quite a few. And to, you know, to kind of view that, you just have to select this top left selection tool and just kind of look and drag. And now you can see all of the circles within one another. You don't have to go to the layers panel or anything. In fact, I don't think we're really going to have to touch that entirely throughout this process. So now that we have this, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of cutting. We're going to go ahead and change a few things so that everything looks a little bit more like the overall, you know, shape that we want. 
So everyone can do this differently. You have, you know, people have their different techniques. So what I find easiest is the shape builder tool. That's this little guy right here on the left side of the screen, right under the free transform tool. You're going to grab that, click it. And if you kind of hover over these guys, you'll see that they are selectable. But before we do this, because if we do this right now, it's going to ultimately change the stroke. This is not kind of a full shape yet. It's not outlined. So major key here, object, path, sorry, expand appearance right here. Object, expand exp uh, appearance. So now if we adjust these at all, it won't mess with our stroke. I'll give you an example. Hold Alt, and now you see the ne the little negative comes up beneath the mouth cursor. Delete. Delete. Okay. So we deleted those. We can zoom in. And you can see that we still have our basic shape here. Everything looks like it's good to go. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and um, make it look more like a C. So there's an easy way to do that. And this is where the kind of creative freedom comes in. Um, and you can choose to do this um, if you'd like to. Um, I choose, you know, I would say this is the right path to take and, you know, this is the best way to do it. But what I want to do first is rectangle tool. So in the top left corner, you hit this right here, the shape builder tool, and the, sorry, the tools, the rectangle tool, and we're going to make a square, right? Just a basic square. Okay. And now we're going to rotate this square because, you know, if we put it in here, it's going to look like a weird C. So right click, transform, rotate, let's do 45 degrees. You know, rotate 45 degrees. Now that we have this here, we're going to stroke this as well. So, how to do that? Very beginning, we took the inside out and we had the stroke on the outside. So, we're going to do kind of the same thing. So, swap, fill, and stroke. So, now kind of looks like that, uh, that circle that we had earlier. But I want to, again, change the stroke of this rectangle. And to do that, window, window, stroke. And obviously, if you already have it open, you can just play with that here. And we're going to do 26. Now, the reason we're going to do 26 is because that's the same size as what we've been messing with, as you can see. But mine on my screen here is a little bit too small, so we're going to make this bigger. Okay, do that, you shift, alt, and you can drag. So we're gonna kind of make it a little bit bigger so that it sticks out quite a bit. And as you can see, the stroke went up with it. So we're gonna turn that back down to 26. Okay. Okay, let's kind of find the center here. It should automatically connect here. Perfect, all right. And to move it around, you just kind of move it with your little um, tool in the top left corner. You can move it around and select kind of where you want this. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can move it over here if you wanted to, if you wanted to have the, the C kind of have more of a, a closed look, but I'm gonna keep it kind of in the middle just so it's a little bit more uniform, just like that. And what I'm gonna do with this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, expand the appearance of this shape right here so I can cut and kind of mold it into the C here. So with this selected, you want to go to Object, Expand, Expand, uh, expand it, Appearance. And now what I want to do is you can see that this is a little bit lower than I want it. So I'm going to move it up just a tad. And now it looks like it fits in there just fine, just in the center. So finding that center line is very important. You want it to kind of be orderly here. And now 
here comes the cutting. So, what to do? Alt, zoom out a little bit with the scrolly wheel. And now that I have this here, I'm going to go ahead and select the selection tool, click and drag, highlight everything. Now that I have everything highlighted, I can go ahead and cut this all I want and make it look all pretty uh, for the finalized product. We're gonna go back to that shape builder tool on the left side here, click that, hold alt, go ahead and start cutting. If you have any stragglers here, you can go ahead and drag and cut those out as well. You can go ahead and get rid of this big piece too. Okay. So now we have the basic C shape. Okay. So this is where uh, you can decide to change certain things or, you know, adjust it in your own specific way. I am just going to kind of freestyle this and do my own thing. And if you would like to, you know, copy the same design, feel free to. You can cut it up in different ways and, you know, choose what, which way you think it looks best. So let's go ahead and select them all. Back to that Shape Builder tool. I'm going to cut this one. Okay. And then cut this one. So you can see it kind of makes a... Um, a, a kind of hypnosis loop back and forth. So it kind of looks like it has like a little uh, a kick to it there. And now that we have this kind of cool, um, unique kind of style with the C logo, I'm going to do it a little bit more because, you know, I want it to be a little bit more different. And what I want to do here is go back to... Let's do the rectangle tool again. And we're going to do it this way a little bit different than what we previously did. So I want to make a rectangle here. I want to stroke this rectangle the same way I previously had done these guys. So windows, stroke, make sure it is on the stroke portion. I'm going to turn that up to 26 just so it's perfect here. Let's make sure this works. 26. Okay. So now I have that basic shape down. What I'm going to do is click it, object, expand exper uh, appearance, and I'm going to cut this just so I have a solid rectangle line and to do that I am just going to grab another rectangle and kind of just make a square here selection tool kind of pull it up select both of them go back to my shape builder tool select that hold alt delete 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 okay now that I have this square that is the same thickness as these lines right here, I can decide what I want to do with it. So what I'm going to do, drag it down, kind of make it in the center right here. And now that I have it in the center, I'm going to duplicate it. So zoom in, alt, scroll wheel, kind of zoom into a good spot right here. And now I'm going to use the Selection tool to make sure this is selected. Alt, drag, alt, click, drag. So now that I have three of them. What now is I'm going to kind of align these guys with the original, okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything. So again, selection tool top left corner click drag okay so now I have everything highlighted and I kind of want to make a cool little design here where it kind of sticks out a little bit um, you know everybody can do their own thing here but I think this might you know look a little bit cool if I did it this way so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go back to the shape builder tool alt click 
click, click, click. And with this one, I'm going to go ahead and I think I might want to leave it like that. Let's take a look here. Actually, I'm going to delete these guys right here and make it look a little bit different. Click, 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 delete it. Okay. Now, all the excess that you don't want, you can go ahead and just remove. Just like that. And now, if I zoom out, it's going to look a little bit different. So, it's kind of a cool mech kind of, you know, technology feel to it there. So, again, you can change it to whichever way you want to. Um, but, you know, feel free to play around with it do different styles um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of make it flush uh, just because that's the way I kind of want to mess with it so selection tool select everything I'm gonna go ahead and delete these guys here just because I feel like that looks a lot better just like that okay well uh, that looks like it's finished here again you are free to use this design, um, this exact design for whatever you'd like. You can adjust it, you know, make whatever you want with it. Um, this is an educational purpose video. Um, if this helped you guys in any way, definitely leave. Uh, oh, oh, right before that, actually, before that, let's let's finalize this piece right here. Don't want to get ahead of myself. Um, let's select everything, and then go to Window, Pathfinder shape modes and it should be your night so what that does is it brings everything together makes it one solid shape and um kind of makes it so that you know you can click around and move it around and not have to worry about those little pieces flying everywhere so now you have one solid shape here you can save it export it, and so on but um, you know, as I was saying, um, before I forgot that last piece, is if this helped you out at all, please leave a like, comment, uh, definitely subscribe. I haven't uploaded in a very long time. It's good to be back. I'm going to keep these coming out, pumping these guys out. Um, I have a, a Instagram uh, portfolio. It's Goldfield Design on Instagram. I would love some support. Um, if you have any questions, that's the best place to reach me. Um, again, um, thanks guys for watching. And I will see you at the next tutorial.